All right, so I told you guys we were gonna be switching out on Monday morning and I'm gonna take you guys through the whole process and that's what we're gonna be doing here. So it's Monday morning, we're getting the shop opened up. We're gonna go ahead and get the compressors on. And uh, I did come in this weekend early because you guys know they're gonna be switching out the paint, which means that we're not gonna have a lot of access to our paint. So you guys see here, we came in, we went ahead and banged out as much as we could. We still have stuff in the booth that we did shoot as well. So we've got some stuff here to do. Let's go ahead and turn on the compressors. All right, so this is the day. We're gonna be switching out from PPG to the Glazer 100 line. So a lot of you guys ask, why are we doing that? Well, we were purchased by Crash Champions and that is their preferred line to use with that company. So we're gonna be getting ready here. We've got some of the supplies over here, as well as this here whole setup of all these boxes, cabinets, and everything else. So we've gotta go in the mixing room now and I'm gonna get out some of my stuff that is gonna to need to get out of the way here. That way they're able to get all this stuff out of here. So I'm not sure how many people we're gonna have. You guys see here what we've got, the Enviro base gonna miss it it was a good product and the people that work at ppg i've been friends with for many many years so we still have our relationship it's just business now so you guys see here what we've got they're gonna get this cleaned out and uh, get this place nice and tidied up we'll put a new floor down and get everything changed out but one of the things that i want to do is because now with the uh glazerit everything is used with the camera so we do not have chips anymore so that means that i'm gonna have to use my camera a lot and here at this shop, we had the computer for the camera all the way here on the other side because it wasn't something that we use on every job. We used it when we needed it. But now that I'm gonna be needing that so often, I want them to put this cabinet over there by the mixing room. That way I can have access to it. It's in the corner there, it's dark. But I wanted to show you guys what I mean. So that's gonna come out hopefully and I can have them put it around the other side. That way I'm not wasting my time walking around all day to this here side and we can get that thing ready to go all right so you guys were probably wondering what was going on with my ws series 2 base gun that i told you guys that we had i've been holding out because i wanted to try that with the 100 line this is the gun designed for the 100 line specifically from iwata and i knew that we were going to be switching out a while back but i didn't want to let you guys know but now that we have our Glazerit coming in, we're gonna be doing all of our demonstrations and our training with the WS400 from Iwata. That way we can test it out with their recommended gun and we can use what they approve with the Glazerit paint system. All right, so we got two of the guys that showed up already early. We got Patrick from Glazerit, and then we got one of the guys from the paint store that's gonna be helping out. Hank. And we Thanks do have some other guys that are gonna be on their way coming shortly, but we wanna go ahead now, introduce to you these two guys, cause they're gonna start getting out the PPG and getting in the Glazerit. So they're gonna get started now. We'll show you the process of that, and then we'll finish up the day and show you guys where we're at later on. All right, so one thing I really was happy about, you guys see we had that gun washer in there, but that was old and it was a beat up system. So we've got a brand new Uniram for the solvent and the water that's gonna be going in the back over there. You guys seen that unit that I just showed you. So we not only have a lot of new stuff coming in, in the shop, but we also had the paint shop set up with a new nice gun washer to go along with that nice new Glazerit system. All 
All right, so they're hard at it. You guys see them. We're even leveling it up, getting it nice, but we want to put down the crash wrap because this is going to stay nice and new now. You start off right, put it on there from the beginning with this table, and then you'll keep it clean from there on out. All right, so one important thing that Patrick was telling me, that's the glazer wrap. This is a urethane waterborne system. This is not like the PPG where it is a latex and you can just shake it back and forth and then you're ready to go. So each toner before they're put on the mixing bank has to be shaken on the shaker and then put on here and thoroughly mixed up really well because you will have sediment at the bottom of the can. So that's one thing that is going to be different now with the glazerate from PPG. You didn't have stirs. If you guys see here, these have all stirs that are going to come down in the can like solvent basically and you're going to have to make sure that you get your bottom pigment off the bottom of that can and that's why he's going to go ahead now and shake up all the cans before he installs them to the mixing bank all right also another thing i was going to tell you guys is you guys see here we have half quarts and then we have full course, and this system also has gallons. So each of the misting lids will be different based off of that. It's not like the standard mixing lids where you have one size and they'll fit most of the colors. This one's gonna have three different setups for each size of the toners. The half liter will be this one, and the quart will be this one. All right guys, you see it, it's all installed. You guys see we had about four people here. We had one of their tech reps. We had my man Patrick, that is gonna be the guy that's gonna be training us. And then we had a good friend of mine from years back, Javier, which is one of the higher up guys at Glazer. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a pan around. I'll introduce to you the other two guys. And you guys see they did a really nice job on it. We went ahead and we put down the blue pig mat and everything is operational. We got the mixing room ready to go. So tomorrow we'll be starting the training here at the shop with Patrick and getting everything ready to shoot in the Glazer at 100 line. All right, so this here is Tom. This is the fellow that handles all the handling of the computers, getting me set up in the uh, system and getting everything dialed in here. You guys see there's a lot to these cabinets. If you guys are in the paint world, We've got our setup down there. We've got our camera. We got to get logged in because now we're going to be running a whole new system with the uh, BASF line. So, how long have you been doing this for uh, BASF? Uh, BASF, 22 years this December. 22 years. I uh, I knew this guy right away. Was a diehard BASF guy because check out his arm. He's got a nice parrot tattoo <laughs> with the gun on it. Yeah, diehard. So I got to watch what I say around these guys, knowing that I'm a PPG guy right now. So. But no, this is Tom, and uh, he's one of the guys that came out, and uh, he did a nice job. He's going to go over some of this stuff here with me, getting the computer dialed in and showing me how to work it. All right, so this is Javier, and it's funny because I've known him a long time, but we've never got to work together. He's always been a BASF guy, and when I ran into him, I was always a PPG guy. So I'm actually looking forward to it, and he is as well. He was letting me know. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what area you handle for uh, P BASF. Yeah, so Javier Mercado, I am the regional business manager for BASF in the southeast, covering Georgia, Florida, and the Caribbean. Oh. 28 years with BASF, so I've been around for quite a bit. 
All right, so we're going to be working together now, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it, and I think we're going to have good things to come with this BASF line. So just wanted to give you guys a little bit of uh, what's going on here at the shop with the guys as well as the install. You guys see we started out this video this morning as PPG, and now we ended it with the Glazer at 100 line BASF, and tomorrow is when we start training for this system. So stay tuned to the video make sure you guys subscribe and we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow starting off with the training